In this video, you'll learn six important facts about Coselugo, selumetinib, in the treatment of patients with neurofibromatosis type 1 with plexiform neurofibromas, NF1PN. Coselugo is indicated for the treatment of pediatric patients two years of age and older with neurofibromatosis type 1, NF1, who have symptomatic, inoperable plexiform neurofibromas, PN. Fact 1. Coselugo is the first FDA-approved therapy proven to shrink NF1PN in pediatric patients. SPRINT is a landmark study in the treatment of NF1PN. SPRINT Phase II Stratum 1 was an open-label, multi-center, single-arm study coordinated with the National Cancer Institute, NCI. This study of 50 pediatric patients with NF1-related inoperable PN that caused significant morbidity was designed to assess the efficacy and safety of Coselugo in reducing the volume of NF1-PN. Fact 2. Coselugo has a demonstrated long-term safety profile. In the long-term follow-up, the median duration of exposure was 4.4 years. During this time, no new safety signals were identified compared to the earlier data cutoff. Fact 3. Coselugo provides a reduction in PN volume. In SPRINT Phase 2 Stratum 1, 66% of patients achieved confirmed partial response, defined as a 20% or greater reduction in PN. Fact 4. Coselugo delivers a fast response with a median time to onset of 7.2 months in NF1PN patients. Of the patients who responded to Coselugo in Sprint Phase 2 Stratum 1, 73% of patients did so within 7.4 months. The median time to response was 7.2 months, with patients responding as early as 3.3 months and up to 1.6 years. Fact 5. Coselugo delivers response in NF1PN patients over many years. In Sprint Phase 2 Stratum 1, 79% of patients remained in response after 24 months of treatment, while 64% remained in response after 36 months. Fact 6. Coselugo can be taken with or without food. With two dosing strengths and no fasting requirement, Coselugo offers flexibility for NF1PN patients. PN typically grow fastest in the first 10 years of life, so early action is crucial. Indication. Coselugo is indicated for the treatment of pediatric patients 2 years of age and older with neurofibromatosis type 1, NF1, who have symptomatic, inoperable plexiform neurofibromas, PN. Important safety information, warnings and precautions. Cardiomyopathy. A decrease in left ventricular ejection fraction. LVEF greater than or equal to 10% below baseline occurred in pediatric patients who received Coselugo in SPRINT, with some experiencing decreased LVEF below the institutional lower limit of normal, LLN, including one patient with grade 3. All patients with decreased LVEF were asymptomatic and identified during routine echocardiography. The safety of Coselugo has not been established in patients with a history of impaired LVEF or a baseline ejection fraction that is below the institutional LLN. Assess ejection fraction by echocardiogram prior to initiating treatment, every three months during the first year of treatment, every six months thereafter, and as clinically indicated, withhold, reduce dose, or permanently discontinue Coselugo based on severity of adverse reaction. In patients who interrupt Coselugo for decreased LVEF, obtain an echocardiogram or a cardiac MRI every three to six weeks. Upon resolution of decreased LVEF, obtain an echocardiogram or a cardiac MRI every two to three months. Ocular toxicity. Blurred vision, photophobia, cataracts, and ocular hypertension occurred. Retinal pigment epithelial detachment, RPED, occurred in the pediatric population during treatment with single-agent Coselugo and resulted in permanent discontinuation. Conduct ophthalmic assessments prior to initiating Coselugo at regular intervals during treatment and for new or worsening visual changes. Permanently discontinue Coselugo in patients with retinal vein occlusion, RVO. Withhold Coselugo in patients with RPED. Conduct ophthalmic assessments every three weeks until resolution and resume Coselugo at a reduced dose. Gastrointestinal toxicity. 
Diarrhea occurred, including grade 3. Diarrhea resulting in permanent discontinuation, dose interruption, or dose reduction occurred. Advise patients to start an antidiarrheal agent, e.g. loperamide, and to increase fluid intake immediately after the first episode of diarrhea. Withhold, reduce dose, or permanently discontinue Coselugo based on severity of adverse reaction. Skin toxicity. The most frequent rashes included dermatitis acne form, 54%, maculopapular rash, 39%, and eczema, 28%. Grade 3 rash occurred, in addition to rash resulting in dose interruption or dose reduction. Monitor for severe skin rashes. Withhold, reduce dose, or permanently discontinue Coselugo based on severity of adverse reaction. Increased creatine phosphokinase, CPK. Increased CPK occurred, including grade 3 or 4 resulting in dose reduction. Increased CPK concurrent with myalgia occurred including one patient who permanently discontinued Coselugo for myalgia. Obtain serum CPK prior to initiating Coselugo, periodically during treatment, and as clinically indicated. If increased CPK occurs, evaluate for rhabdomyolysis or other causes. Withhold, reduce dose, or permanently discontinue Coselugo based on severity of adverse reaction. Increased levels of vitamin E and risk of bleeding. Coselugo capsules contain vitamin E, which can inhibit platelet aggregation and antagonize vitamin K-dependent clotting factors. Supplemental vitamin E is not recommended if daily vitamin E intake, including the amount of vitamin E in Coselugo and supplement, will exceed the recommended or safe limits due to increased risk of bleeding. An increased risk of bleeding may occur in patients who are co-administered vitamin K antagonists or antiplatelet antagonists with Coselugo. Monitor for bleeding in these patients and increase international normalized ratio, INR, in patients taking a vitamin K antagonist. Perform anticoagulant assessments more frequently and adjust the dose of vitamin K antagonists or antiplatelet agents as appropriate. Embryo-fetal toxicity. Based on findings from animal studies, Coselugo can cause fetal harm when administered during pregnancy. In animal studies, administration of selumetinib to mice during organogenesis caused reduced fetal weight, adverse structural defects, and effects on embryo-fetal survival at approximate exposures greater than five times the human exposure at the clinical dose of 25 mg per meter squared twice daily. Advise patients of reproductive potential of the potential risk to a fetus and to use effective contraception during treatment with Coselugo and for one week after the last dose. Adverse reactions. Common adverse reactions greater than or equal to 40% include vomiting, rash, all, abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, dry skin, musculoskeletal pain, fatigue, pyrexia, acne form rash, stomatitis, headache, paronychia, and pruritus. Drug interactions. Effect of other drugs on Coselugo. Concomitant use of Coselugo with a strong or moderate CYP3A4 inhibitor or fluconazole increased selumetinib plasma concentrations, which may increase the risk of adverse reactions. Avoid co-administration with Coselugo. If co-administration cannot be avoided, reduce Coselugo dosage. Concomitant use of Coselugo with a strong or moderate CYP3A4 inducer decreased selumetinib plasma concentrations, which may reduce Coselugo efficacy. Avoid concomitant use with Coselugo. Special populations, pregnancy and lactation. Verify the pregnancy status of patients of reproductive potential prior to initiating Coselugo. Due to the potential for adverse reactions in a breastfed child, advise patients not to breastfeed during treatment with Coselugo and for one week after the last dose. To report suspected adverse reactions, contact AstraZeneca 1-800-236-9933 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or www.fda.gov slash medwatch. Please see full prescribing information for Coselugo, selumetinib, at https colon slash slash alexion.com slash documents slash coselugo underscore uspi.pdf.